Hello YouTubers, today we got a Lexor, this is a USB uh, flash drive here. This one came in as data recovery. So what we're going to do is we're going to test it, see what's going on with it. Bring our meter up over here. So we got our meter. It's going to be flickering for you guys a little bit, but that's the camera angle. We're going to plug this in, see what we get. We try to get a jump there. It says says US, USB device not recognized. So let's try, oh, we apply a little pressure there. We're getting voltage. So this is actually a bad broken USB stick. So let's do the data recovery on this fix it hopefully fix the drive for the customer and also do their data recovery so so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to separate this right here you can see like where this is loose So you can see that it's loose big time. So we're going to have to figure out where it separates from. And that's always fun. Especially on hard drives now. So it looks like it separates from here. So we can see that. We'll zoom in on that a little bit. So it lifts up right there. So we should be able, in theory, be able to get this out of here without cutting ourselves, hopefully. Get in there. So we're going to pry it. Pry it a little bit more. You know, I'm curious if you guys had issues like this come across this video like have you had issues with this drive before this is a very small uh, drive too but I guess it houses a lot of data which isn't surprisingly like who has one gigabyte drives now <laughs> honestly so we're gonna pr try to pry this apart best we can without damaging it so we can fix the connection oop we just snapped the other side in there there we go alright so we got it snapped free and you know we didn't see the light lighting up too that's one of the features there. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a zoom in on this. We're going to see what's going on with this bad boy. And as you can see, we have broken connections there. We could zoom in on that a little bit more for you guys. Let's see if we could do that right there. There we go. We're gonna level. We're gonna level there, so you can see the solder mask where the USB is connected. This came disconnected. So all we're going to have to do is put some flux there. So we'll put some flux and some leaded solder there. We'll redo that end. Let's see if this one's broken. Nope, that one's not broken. 
Let's see if some other ones are broken here. We're going to zoom up a little bit. So that one right there, third one, that's definitely broken. So that's what happens with your, if you bend a uh, flash drive, but like, you know, you buy your cheaper uh, USB sticks, they have a uh, cheaper solder mask and everything. That's held in place. So by this pin being held in place, probably secured this from ripping any pads or anything. You can see that's up in the air right there. Not even connected. That one's connected. And that one is definitely not connected. So what we're going to do is just basically solder this. And once we're done soldering, it should work. We should get power and amperage. So what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, some flux to all these pins here. So once we're done adding flux there, we're going to solder all those pins with some lead so let's add some flux There, there we go. We get a nice little blob on there. Work some of that old nasty solder out of there. Clean the tip real quick. Add some fresh solder. There we go. We'll mix that a little bit more. Clean the tip. So we're going to do this one. We got one more pad to do. Alright. Good joint. Why we're cleaning the tip is just to remove the crappy solder that they used from the factory. I mean, the person did bend this. So we're going to do a data backup of the drive plus, let's see, get this. I have to add some more flux there. There we go. Alright, so that's a good joint. Alright. Now, you can see the sides here, I, I don't know if you can see that. So what we're going to do is we're going to attack those sides there. We're going to stabilize that. And then also these back sides here. Bam. We got that one. Got that one. Alright, so we're going to attack these two sides real quick. Alright. 
Alright, bam. That's stable. See how it kind of like frosted up there? Let's see if I can get that on film. Oh, that hurt. Alright. So I'm just basically removing like all the nasty old solder off there. I'm gonna do the same with this side. Try to stabilize it. So we don't have to add any epoxy or anything like that. I can't even speak for some reason. I don't know why, but all right. So we're gonna go inside here. So this is what they kind of anchor it with. And then if you don't scrape this material, then the the solder is not gonna stick to it that good. You can see this side was broken. I'm just cleaning it up a little bit, just being a little picky. Alright, there we go. That should be fixed. So we should be able to retrieve the data for the customer. We're going to clean this up. Alright, so we're just cleaning up all the excess flux. Once we're done with that, we should be able to test it and see if it's pulling current and if it's recognized by USB. And if we're able to recover the data. We got our power meter there. Now I'm in some special mode here. Got to exit out of it for some reason. There we go. So now, in theory, we should be able to plug this in. And we're getting a proper amperage draw. We got a light there. Oh, 
and we got recognized. Yep, and we got the Lexart thumb drive here. We got all the data. So if I click on this, it's for Mac and Windows. So if we plug this in, I turn the light off, you'll see now the light will actually blink. So I just backed up the data. And we're going to plug this in, you're going to see the light light up. There we go. Now it just recognize the USB. So that's the success. Just basically broken pins on a USB drive before you could tell that we weren't pulling no uh, amps or anything like that, no current. So, therefore, you know, moving the drive like that told me when you see a fluctuation of the voltage, told me that it's broken connections automatically, even before taking it apart. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.